Deep in the forest of a far, far land stands a tree that bears magic fruits. And every midnight, when all is asleep, each fruit opens up like a flower and drops a tiny bit of potion that gives instant youth to whoever seeks it. This, of course, was a story everybody knew, but nobody can prove it ever existed. Until one day, at a nearby village, a young man returned claiming he was the old baker selling them bread all those years. He said, yesterday, an old crooked man came to his store and asked for any stale bread the old baker can spare. The baker, who happened to be a kind and generous man, offered him the best bread for free. The old man asked why such generosity, and the old baker said, Well, I love this bakery so much that I spent all my youth baking and serving people in this village. I love it so much that I have missed my chance to look for a wife and have children of my own, which I have always dreamed of. And now, I'm too old to do that, and all I can do is to spend the rest of my life baking for the whole village until I die, which I guess will not be that far off since I am really old. Oh, how I wish I can turn back time. How I would love to be young again and seek for a wife. The old man saw the old baker's good heart and told him about a magic tree and the magic potion it brings, but in one condition, that he will bring the old baker there blindfolded so that he won't know where the tree was. For the old man knew that once somebody learns where it was, the news will spread like wildfire and the tree will be in danger. For youth has become an expensive obsession of mankind. So where is this crooked old man? The whole village asked. The young baker said, I don't know. He left me outside of the woods after bringing me to a magic tree I have never laid my eyes on. All I knew was that he asked me to stand under the tree, open my hand for a potion of fruit he gave, and ate it immediately. After that, he guided me all the way out of the woods and left me there where I took my blindfold off. I ran back to my bakery and alas, I saw myself in a mirror looking very young. And the whole village heard about the story and the news reached the wicked widow Amanda, the vainest woman in the village. I have to see this tree of youth immediately. The lines around my eyes is so hideous, I cannot let my looks fade like the rest of this pathetic village. She immediately packed a bag of food and headed to the woods, determined she will find the tree. Once she reached the woods, she realized how scary the place was. But she kept walking and walking until, with some luck, she came across a crooked old man, just as she remembered the story described. And so, she pretended to be in distress, getting the old man's attention. <laughs> Are you lost? The old man asked. 
Yes, for days I have been walking in this forest in search for this tree that would save my life from sure death. You see, my old weak body is giving up, and this tree, as they say, can give me back my youth and start my life all over again, says Amanda in anguish. My dear, if your life depends on this tree, then I can help you find it. You will? Amanda said. And so the old man explained to Amanda about the condition and puts a blindfold on her. And as the old man guided her to the tree, Amanda secretly peeked to look where they were. Until right before midnight, they finally reached the magic tree. The old man said, Now, remember, just open your hand and... Amanda suddenly took her blindfold off. I am not leaving this tree until I get enough fruits to keep me young forever. And Amanda squeezed every fruit she can grab and squeezed all the potions she can get. The tree started to wilt and die. Yes, I will be forever young and... <gasps> Amanda suddenly stops and looks at the old man with utmost fear. My dear, every fruit gives you a few years of your age. You took too many of it. Amanda suddenly fell. <laughs> and slowly she shrunk until she became a fetus. Greed never wins. The old man picked up the fetus and placed it over the tree where it was embraced by the tree. And the tree slowly started to be alive again, and the fruits were full again. You will never die, said the old man to the tree. And the old man walked away.